in all of my four plus decades of driving, I've never seen anything as crazy as this. Not even in the back seat. Better than the Jetsons. Oh, no. Next thing you know, there'll be flying cars. Nobody in that vehicle. <laughs> it is driving itself. I have now seen it all. Self driving Jaguar. There's not even a person in there in case there's a problem. That's right. Who's got the liability for that if that's in an accident? Look, there's nobody in there. Here we go. It's driving itself. So I did pull in front of that vehicle and I uh, came to a traffic light. When the light turned green, I stopped and stayed at the light. I didn't proceed. And I wanted to see how the car would react. And actually after about 15 or so seconds when the rest of the cars had moved and I stayed there in the center lane, the car actually signaled, got in the right lane and then passed me. So look at that. It, it had the sense enough to know that I wasn't moving and uh, that it signaled properly, very nicely, and it actually made the change of lanes and, and went on. So uh, I guess there are a lot smarter people out there figuring this stuff out, but for me, I, I, I don't know. I don't get it. Uh, not only that, we lose the humanity, right? People don't talk to people anymore. People don't interact with people anymore. You go to a bank, 
you don't have uh, some banks don't even have real bank tellers anymore it's all like remote all the zoom calls and i mean we've just lost that human touch right it's all technology in the way and uh i for one am quite a social animal i like uh I like uh, the interaction with people, the mano a mano, so to speak. So, uh, anyway, I guess uh, that there'll be a market for those uh, who don't really care about that, or who knows. I, I just interested to see if these these Waymos could ever be involved in a traffic stop. Can you imagine somebody uh, pulling a vehicle over, a cop, and uh, there's actually nobody in the vehicle, and, and it committed a traffic infraction, maybe running a red light. I don't know, timing with uh, like a halo system, speed on green, improper lane change. Uh, I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of dynamics that could go on. And uh, it's just, I don't know, weird. How about liability, insurance? What happens if uh, somebody gets hit or there's a mistake in the app and, it, you know, the design and it rear ends a car or it changes lanes and it hits another vehicle or... Biceless or a, uh, a uh, pedestrian. What happens then? Uh, what happens if the car runs out of gas? I guess it's got to know that it's got to get low and it's got to get back somewhere to get some gas. In fact, uh, who, who, if it's gas operated, who fills it up? I guess there's a uh, fleet of them and I guess they go and somebody fills it up. Uh, I guess that one day, I, I assume they'll be electric if they're not already working on that and I guess they'll have to be charged. Uh, what happens if there's like an accident in the road that blocks the road and now the vehicle's stuck in traffic and it's just sitting there and sitting there and sitting there? Uh, I, I don't know. What, what happens if the car itself is in an accident? What does it do? Uh, I'm sure they've, a lot of smarter people than I am have probably thought about all these things and I guess I have answers, but man, that's like opening up a can of worms and to rely completely on some kind of computer system to figure all that out. I, I don't know, no. Everybody's talking about AI today, so what, is there going to be artificial intelligence in this thing? I haven't heard that word. Maybe I'll ask chat GPT or something. Never use that either. I don't particularly care for that. Uh, I think we have enough, uh, forget about artificial intelligence. I'm trying to find real intelligence, and it's getting harder and harder to do so. Victoria was saying this is like right outside of Jetsons. I think they were flying vehicles, but that's probably not too far off either. But uh, movies that come to mind, Total Recall. Uh, the Johnny Cab, if you remember that, uh, those scenes. Uh, Minority Report, that's a little bit more scary. You know, he's trying to get away, and then they recall the car, uh, and he's got to get out of it to try, <laughs> try to evade uh, the pre-crime unit that was looking for him. So, uh, look, no, it's a brave new world. Personally, it's not for me. At least I don't see it in my future. I, I couldn't imagine hailing a, a driverless, uh, driverless automobile getting in it and just entirely putting my life into some unknown <laughs> system uh, but there it is it's being tested it's i think phoenix is the largest area right now that has these systems that are uh, being deployed uh, i don't know how much they're being used but uh, my preference is of course to to drive i'm a driver i love to drive i don't really care to be driven uh, show for it or anything else for that matter and certainly not by a computer system so uh, I think I'll pass but uh, look there's no denying uh, the future is is coming or is here and I don't know where it's going to end up but uh, anyway I figured I'd share it with you because it, it, was, it was pretty crazy <laughs> so uh, if you're ever out in Phoenix give it a shot hail one of these Waymo's uh, let me know how it works out for you. Take care.